So it's the end of the season and our gear is taken and beaten. We've caught in a lot of trout, uh, but we need to repair some stuff now. So as you can see in this net, I just have a little hole here. Um, I actually have several little holes, but I'm just gonna show you how to fix this one. Believe it or not, a hole that size is large enough for uh, a, a healthy sized trout to slip through. So we're gonna fix that. All you need for this is an old butter knife or something flat, like a scraper. Just make sure it's old because it is gonna get ruined. You're gonna need a lighter or a small butane torch. And you're also gonna need something to hold the knife with, either a set of clamps or an extra set of hands. I'm just gonna use today um, these little clamps that my wife uses for her jewelry business, and it's gonna work really well. All right, so we have the knife set up in this little clamp here and a torch ready. We're gonna start heating up that knife. This torch is pretty powerful, so it's not gonna to take too long to get this metal uh, really nice and hot. But if you are just using a lighter, don't worry about it. Just give yourself about 60 seconds. Uh, make sure not to burn yourself, of course, but apply a nice even heat and make sure the knife is really, really hot. All right, that should be about good with this torch. So uh, once that's hot, I'm gonna quickly grab my net where there's a broken piece and I'm gonna put two ends of the broken uh, rubber on to the metal. It's gonna start smoking and melting and that's what we're looking for. As Soon as that happens, slide the rubber off and hold that rubber there together. Um, as this cools, what's happening is this rubber is actually welding itself back to each other. Uh, or I'm sorry, the two sides are welding themselves to each other. So try not to breathe that smoke. It is pretty nasty. Um, but hold it here for about 25, 30 seconds or so, and then you should be good to go. All right, so I finished the repair here. You can see right about there is where we did this weld of that rubber, and it is really strong. I'm pulling on it, I'm pushing on it. Um, this net is uh, not quite as good as new because it doesn't look that pretty, but I gotta tell you, it's gonna work great when we're netting small and big fish alike. So uh, if you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jones Guides, or give me a follow on social at jones.guides, or check out my website, jonesguides.com, for more how-tos, uh, videos, and blogs on how you can live your best life outdoors. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.